Hello friends and welcome back. Today's video is a special one for me because it sort of combines a bunch of my favorite things. Uh, film and digital photography, traveling with my wife Jillian and our big sweet guy Carl, and one of my absolute favorite places to visit, the Oregon coastline. We could only get away for a couple days. All in all, we were on the coast for almost exactly 48 hours but we filled our time with tons of incredible locations and I shot way more photos than I have in a really long time. Um, I didn't really go into this trip with like a mindset of a specific goal of pictures I wanted to take. I more so just kind of approached it with the mentality that I wanted to enjoy this little mini vacation with the family and be a sponge uh, for whatever happened along the way. For this trip, I packed my Nikon F3, which is my 35 millimeter film camera with a 28 millimeter 2.8 lens. And I also packed the Fuji X100V for my digital camera. And last but not least, for those of you who are interested, I shot this entire video on my trusty pal, the Sony a7S III. We woke up very early on the first day to start our seven hour drive to the coast. After making a quick stop for gas, Carl also had to do his business, so I used that extra time uh, to grab my Nikon and got this shot of the gas station. The rest of the drive was so scenic that time just sort of flew by, and before you know it, we had made it to our first stop, which was this lush, magical trail through the forest that led out to the beach. The sun was cutting through the trees in some spots and making these really cool little pockets of light everywhere. This was Carl's first time ever seeing the ocean, so it was a pretty big deal for all of us. Just finished shooting my roll of Tri-X 400 and I was actually using the 
one eighth uh, black pro mist on there, so I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna load up some Porsche 400 next. Our next stop was this trail just about 20 minutes down the road from where we were. And the trail as we followed it just led us out to these massive rocky cliffs that spend their days just getting pummeled by the ocean. Weather started changing and things got a little intense. Once we saw the chance for a nice sunset creeping in, we hurried back to Cannon Beach, which is actually where our little Airbnb was for those two nights. And we spent the rest of the evening just there watching the sun go down. Toward the end of the night, I did something I rarely do and broke out the tripod for some long exposure shots. This frame in particular feels special to me and is probably in my top five personal favorites that I've ever taken.
When we pulled up to the next stop, it was really foggy and actually raining a bit. The forest had this surreal, mysterious feeling to it, and as we went down the trail, the light continued to change, sort of opening up more and more as we went. Our hike landed us on this gigantic beach that we had somehow miraculously all to ourselves. So we kicked off our shoes and just relaxed for a while. After hiking back up, we were totally spent. So we drove up to where we were staying in Cannon Beach and took a nice slow walk around the town for the rest of the evening. Last shot. It's the end of the 800. Didn't time that well because we we're losing light and I'm switching to 400, but <laughs> it's okay.
Sunrise on this stretch of the West Coast is pretty special. You get all these phases of different color as the day starts and the sun slowly starts creeping up over the mountains behind you. I watched the light from the sun move all the way from out hitting these distant waves as far as you could see to hitting the rocks directly in front of us. It's really just a beautiful thing to witness. We were supposed to hit the road home from here, but we made a last minute call to grab a quick coffee and take one last walk along the beach in the sun. I left everything else behind and just carried my film camera down, coffee in one hand, camera in the other, and just tried to finish the roll off. So no video on this last stretch, just the last few frames of the trip. If you've made it this far, wow, thank you so much for watching. I'm insanely grateful for your support and I will see you in the next one.